When I'm done cooking at the end of the day, my kitchen floor could probably tell the tale of exactly what I chopped, stirred, and sauteed. But at that point, the last thing I feel like doing is breaking out the broom or the vacuum. That's when it's great to let a robot vacuum zoom in and clean up my kitchen floor. But which robot works best? These days, there are lots of choices at a wide range of prices. Today, many robots can map your home with lasers or optical sensors and follow methodical cleaning patterns, emptying their own bins or doing video surveillance of your home or avoiding pet accidents. But how well do any of these functions really work? We decided to find out. First, we focused on their vacuuming abilities, and then we decided which extras were worthwhile. We presented each robot with an equal amount of kitchen mess that included used coffee grounds, popcorn kernels, onion peels, and minced vegetables. The best robot picked up 100% of the mess. The worst, just 59%. Next, we scattered rainbow confectionery sprinkles on a floor with an area rug. The best model scooped up more than 98% of the sprinkles. The worst, just 36%. That's pretty dramatic. Now, what made the difference? First, powerful suction. As they passed over the dirt, the top two models left clear trails. That was not the case with lower ranked models. Plus, our favorite was the only model with a special pair of counter-rotating rubber brushes. Those were very effective at scooping up dirt and debris. Second, we liked robots that didn't miss spots, but too many of the robots looked busy while skipping areas where dirt could lie around undisturbed. In other cases, robots would quit and declare themselves done well before the room was fully clean while others kept going and going. We took time-lapse photos of each robot over a set period of time in a confined space. Suddenly, we understood why some robots picked up more or less than others in our lab vacuuming tests. Next, we took them home for real-world challenges. Some of those pretty fancy robots were stumped. One got stuck on a high threshold and hung there, complaining that it was too near the edge. Another pushed a bathroom rug into a heap that blocked the exit. A third ran for a few minutes, cheerfully declared, I'm done, and docked itself. That is not much of a work ethic. The best ones never gave us trouble like that. Some robots offer a mapping feature. As it first travels through your space, the robot begins to create a map and that lets you designate and schedule areas for cleaning. We could do things like send the robot to vacuum only the kitchen floor. We can even set that up to happen at 9 p.m. every night like clockwork. Daily kitchen mess, solved. Communicating with the robots should be easy too. Many models we tested actually spoke to us and we liked the ones that clearly communicated either on their app or by voice, telling us when to empty dust bins, when they needed help getting unstuck, or when they needed a repair. For those that didn't speak, app notifications and visual cues on the robot itself were very helpful. We also appreciated simple, sturdy charging docks. Every robot comes with a dock that plugs into an electrical outlet where the robot can recharge its batteries. We preferred models that had compact, sturdy charging docks that were easy to assemble and designed for secure, unambiguous docking. Finally, what about those extra features? We loved that one model had a self-emptying bin in its charging dock. That was a big plus. No more hoisting up the robot and pulling out the dustbin by hand. Video surveillance and recording was interesting but creepy, and what we could see was fairly limited. Robots that claimed to have extra suction to pick up pet hair did not necessarily perform better than ones without this feature. We liked the idea of a mopping attachment so that we could skip buying two separate devices, but on models with so-so vacuuming functions, we'd rather pass. We have reviewed robot mops and regular mops, and you're generally better off with those options. Finally, here's something a bit gross. Two models promised to spot and swerve away from pet poo. We actually bought and scattered realistic looking plastic poo around our homes. One model just ran right over it like it wasn't there. The other one cleverly moved away from larger piles of poo, but ran right over smaller ones. Bottom line, don't count on this feature. In the end, the iRobot Roomba J7 Plus Robot Vacuum was a premier picker-upper, easily sweeping the competition. It can keep going to get any job done since it empties its own dustbin, recharges, and returns to cleaning. It quickly created an accurate map that let us label rooms and set up scheduled or impromptu cleaning of designated areas or of the whole house. The Shark Ion Robot Vacuum, a more budget-friendly robot with simpler features and random navigation that performed nearly as well in picking up dirt as our winner, is a great option and our best buy.